Hi, Phil Rainey here, just making a video about uh, one of my videos about the an indication of the Earth's magnetic field strength. I um, I do this by screw, I've screwed a compass to the floor a few years back when I first found out the uh, Earth's magnetic field was getting weakened in places it was dropping to almost zero strength and um, put some marks on it where the uh, north and south needle on, of the compass pointed at the time and also where uh, you know I go to 90 degrees of that and measure 105 mil out and I'd place this magnetic screwdriver which is of a fixed magnetic strength and I'd put that there and um, then I'd read off the needle how far from the north and south or how many d degrees deflection the magnetic field strength of the a screwdriver has pulled the needle and take that as an indication as to uh, how strong the Earth's magnetic field strength is. The stronger the Earth's magnetic field strength, the closer to the north-south uh, the needle will be because that vector will be stronger and uh, the bigger the degrees deflection then the, the weaker the magnetic field and it pulls towards the uh, screwdriver. I'm afraid I've got to apologise because I've made a colossal stuff up um, um, I've got confused in many of my previous videos. I started thinking that uh, the more the degrees uh, deflection, the stronger the magnetic field. And although the uh, readings were uh, okay as far as I know, but the uh, just getting confused about uh, the stronger, the, the more the deflection, the stronger the Earth's magnetic field is actually the weaker the magnetic field, and the less the deflection, the stronger the magnetic field. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if that confused you. Um, I'm afraid I'm, I'm a bit inaccurate sometimes and I'm a bit, uh, in fact, uh, some people say I'm like a half a labour unit. So if the average man uh, works for an hour, it's one labour unit, I'm half a labour unit. With my accuracy and my uh, lack of coordination, it takes me twice as long to do anything of any uh, note. And uh, so I apologise about that, but anyway, but I do the best I can and that's all I can do and um, yeah, that's just the way it is. But anyway, it's the 3rd of August today. I got the evidence, the newspaper here today to prove it. I can get the focus on it. So, that, um, there you go, 3rd of August. And uh, I'm going to take an indication of the uh, Earth's magnetic strength as it is now. It's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I took one earlier this morning, um, just by myself, I didn't record it, and uh, it was, I had a deflection of about 22 degrees, which was uh, a bit higher than it has been recently, so that means that the magnetic field at that time was a bit weaker. But uh, So it's been moving around a little bit. At one point a week or so ago, or two ago, it was 18 degrees, which was the strongest the Earth's magnetic field strip or less deflection, so the strongest the Earth's magnetic field strength's been for uh, well, pretty much since I started measuring it. Um, although several years ago when I screwed the compass to the floor. So we'll have a look today and see what it reads. So uh, this is the compass on the floor. And uh, we just got to first align the, uh, the bevel north and south Bit of, just shake it up a bit, make sure it's in the right place. And uh, I align the bevel with the uh, north and south of the needle because the actual orientation of the uh, magnetic field going through the house actually can change two or three, a couple of degrees. So uh, I have to uh, sort of zero it every time. About there, and then I um, get me tape measure and I go right angles to the uh, north and south and I measure out 105 mil uh, yes. and then I straighten the screwdriver and then I read the deflection uh, from north uh, off the compass. I don't know if I can get a good reading there if you can see that. Uh, about there maybe. And you can see it's um it's not it's a bit it's about nineteen degrees. Sort of nineteen. It was actually eighteen 
just a few minutes ago, but um, so it's fairly strong today, the uh, magnetic field strength, or at the moment it's actually gone up and down during the day. The magnetic field strength of the Earth does bounce around and go up and down, or can do, and um, that's nothing unusual. But uh, yeah, so that's that, and uh, that's where we're at today. So that's good. Just positive news. Magnetic field strength is reasonably strong today. Uh, not quite at its strongest, but just a degree down. And uh, so that's good. Uh, thanks very much. Over and out from Phil Rainey.